percent. My jazz professor in college has an improvisation course. He had a lot of classical players go through it because if they didn't have sheet music, they couldn't play music. So for them, those notes are very important. And I found them like coming in and we do a Friday uh, afternoon, evening recording session. They prepare a song all week and then we bring in a professional engineer here in Nashville and like we do the whole thing. Like it's a, it's a lot of fun. They get really nervous, but then they find out like this is the funnest part of the week. So many of them get tied up in that sheet music, you know? Yeah. And it's like, hey, this is a blues form. Can you just play the song? You know, that in, in, in my mind, that's the rock and roll guy being like, hey, come yeah. on, play the song, count it off, let's go, you know? Yeah. Because in my mind, I'm like, it's a 12 bar blues, you know, with a Sears and Roebuck ending, but you know, like it's fine. Um, but in their mind, they need to play every note, right? Because yeah. that sheet music is there. And I was finding with students that they felt very, very unsuccessful when they were playing eight pages of sheet music they would remember those mistakes and go, man, I missed that hi hat in the 52nd measure of the chorus. And you're like, what are you talking about? You know, well, it's, and they'll circle it, you know, and it's like, okay, well, so we have to understand that the sheet music is just there to represent what was actually played. What do we sound like? And how do we remember the song form? And because they were so obsessed with reading each individual notes, um, they didn't get the, the form of the song. Mm. So they couldn't understand that, hey, I can write the form of the song out in, a, in an area about this big. So here's, it's the intro, verse, chorus, re-intro, verse, chorus, bridge, chorus, outro. That is the song. And then we write numbers. This is how many measures are in each one. So this is a chart in the Nashville number system. There's a couple books out. A great drummer named Jim Riley wrote one as well.